Well, hello everyone. I'm back again with a uh, really cool comic book haul. Um, the books that I'm going to show, and it's almost a full short box um, of books. I got over the past three weeks um, at the flea market. There's a guy that's been coming there on Fridays, and uh, all his books are 50 cents a piece. And I got some really amazing things for 50 cents, like mind-blowing type stuff. Of course, some of the stuff is uh, not so great, but, um, you know, the stuff that I, I'm really happy about, you guys will enjoy them as well. Uh, but I also have some other stuff I wanted to show real quick, um, just some random pickups along the way. I was at Walmart the other day. I found the, uh, the Emperor figure. Got that. I grabbed these. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these already. Um, I just wanted it for the uh, Jim Lee Batman reprint. So I got that. Got this uh, Death Star droid at the flea market. Um, there's a guy down there who got a whole vintage case full of figures in the other day, all with their original accessories in minty fresh condition. Um, this was the only one that I could afford right now, the Death Star droid. He was 20 bucks, so I, I grabbed him. And then uh, I'm a Smurf guy. I grabbed this Smurf drinking glass from, what year is this from? 1982. It was probably a Burger King or one of those McDonald's type deals, I bet you. Back in the 80s, uh, these drinking glasses were all the rage uh, between McDonald's and Burger King and other fast food places. Got a piece of my childhood the other day at the flea market. This thing is called Starbird. Um, it was a spaceship back from the late 70s, early 80s. He still works. Um, I got to get some pieces for it. But what was cool about this, so you can hear it, and then as he goes up, It makes like a sound of like it's he's ascending. And then as he's going down. And his uh, firing mechanism still works. So I got that. It takes a 9 volt battery. Those little flat ones. And then... I got this at the flea market because I'm a Popeye guy. I got that for seven bucks, the metal sign. I scored this this morning at the flea market. Um, I like that it's open on Fridays because I could take Fridays off when I have a bunch of vacation time built up. I got this beast uh, for five bucks and I didn't know it at the time. No, it's not signed. But I had no idea that when this first came out, that this was a $150 book. And I got that for $5. I was like, holy crap. So that was awesome. Um, went to Thor Love and Thunder since my last video. Got the cup. And that's it for the tchotchkes um, since my last video. Maybe this. I don't know if I had shown this or not. The... Uh, Ahsoka Tano figure. Got that at a, uh, at like a secondhand shop for 10 bucks. Amazing Murfinator from YouTube and Instagram uh, sent me a, an amazing act of kindness the other day. So he had gotten some David uh, Wenzel signatures the other day um, at a con up in Massachusetts. And I commented how awesome they were. And he sent me this. So I had this book already, The Hobbit. But what I don't have is this awesome David Wenzel remark slash sketch of Gandalf. So super duper 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 happy with that. Oh, almost took out the, the camera. So Murph, thank you, sir. I know you'll get around to watching this uh, you know, always watch my videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very happy with that. That'll always stay in the collection. I'm going to find a way to maybe uh, make a photocopy of the uh, the sketch and 
put it on the front so I can look at it all the time. All right, uh, on with the books. In addition to the Frank Cho book that I picked up today, I got some dollar books um, at the flea market. Giant Size Avengers number four. It's not in bad shape. The only problem is it's got that some books that I've seen have overspray. This has got massive overspray. So grab that for a buckety buck. Got this for a cover. I got to stop buying books just for the cover because these suckers are taking up room. Um, some of those 50 cent books I'm about to show were cover buys as well. But uh, they're cool covers. Um, I even got some books that are like $50 or more in, 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 these, in this short box I'm going to show in a moment. Uh, Black Cat, number one. Uh, Hildebrand cover. Anti-Venom, number two. Just another cover by American Century, number 18. I love that. Uh, it reminds me a bit of the Dave Stevens Rocketeer with the Betty Page. So that was cool. Some early Adam Hughes, uh, Maze, Maze Agency number nine. This book was so hot uh, a while ago, a um, long while ago, six, seven, eight years ago, maybe. Morlocks uh, one. Uh, there's some mutant first appearances in there. Got that for a dollar. And the Marvel Magazine for Robocop. So all those were a buck. All right, so on with the fun stuff. Um, here's another dollar score that I got. The Walking Dead Compendium 1. So what's different about this compendium, it's... Where does it say? It? Yeah, here we see. Not for sale, resale. Um, I didn't see any other copies of this on eBay at all with this cover. Um, I don't know if this was like a convention exclusive or a reviewer's copy or something along those lines. Um, but I got this for a buck. I didn't know it at the time that it was that sort of copy. I just grabbed it because it was a dollar. Um, so on with the short box of books. Let's see, I'm probably too close now. So I'm just going to pull back. Almost a full short box, as you can see there. All right. So like I said, 99% of the books that I'm about to show now were 50 cents. There's a couple of dollar books that I got from other vendors there, but the majority of the stuff I got from this one guy. So I'll grab Conan's, you know, run fillers every time I see them on the cheap. Silver Surfer run filler. Another Conan run filler. So, like, not everything's going to blow your, your socks off. But I'm going to show everything just because I've got time. Uh, Freak Brothers, number seven. There's a cartoon on the way or is already out. Uh, so I grabbed that. Always finding Michael Turner stuff on the cheap. Always. All right. Here we go. First appearance of... Uh, Dead shot, 50 cents. I'm not going to keep saying 50 cents. That's, that's the last one. Until I don't remember. Uh, Lois Lane, number 105. First appearance of Rose and Thorn. All from that same guy. Jimmy Olsen. Yeah, it's Jimmy Olsen. I understand, but... This, this is a really nice shape, uh, early Bronze Age book. Kirby art. Can't pass that up. Adam Hughes, Rose and Thorn, number two. First Kyle Rayner. The Fly, number one. Steranko, cover. Some more Adam Hughes. Anytime I see Adam Hughes stuff, I, mean, I am going to grab it, even if I already have it. More part of that uh, Kyle Rayner storyline. There's number 49 and number 50 for that trifecta. 
this was great, a great find. Uh, Green Lantern number 25. I got two copies of that. A lot of first appearances in there, including Larfleas and Atrocitus and a bunch of other lantern type appearances. Thanos Quest part, uh, is it one or two? Book two. Too bad he didn't have book one. Uh, Warlock Infinity Watch, uh, the last issue. I always grab last issues of uh, runs when I see them because they're lower printed, and this is one of those. And I also got number 41, so the next to the last issue. Never see Lady Mechanica stuff, so I'm going to grab it every time I see it because I love the, the art on these. Um, whoever bought this originally paid 10 bucks for that one and 10 bucks for this one. Gorgeous covers. Some Bronze Age Detective. This book was hot a while ago. Um, I forgot the character's first appearance in here, but I paid uh, $20 for a copy not too long ago. When there was hype around that character becoming the next uh, Black Panther in, mo in the movies. Keep finding these Platt Profit issues. I got number two. Mid-grade copy of Amazing Sp Spider-Man uh, 365. It was the only Spider-Man book he had. Eternals number one. That book was a bigger thing a little while ago. Got some Xena covers, including this one. Vin Crew showed that book um, a while ago, and I've been on the hunt for one ever since. Got one now for the collection. Sai Sheblade number one, just a different version of this cover. It's the first appearance of Witchblade, a Roger Rabbit. Like I said, not everything is going to be a home run here, but there was some cool stuff. Um, a third print variant for Shadowland. I'm trying to grab all these Shadowland uh, books. Planetary number one. Um, there was something about this book a while ago. It's got some first appearances, and I think maybe his work was optioned for Netflix or one of those streaming services, so there was a run on, on getting his titles. Green Lantern 28. This is also a flip book. More Conan run filler. King Size Annual. Another annual. A Captain America Deathlock Lives, Mike Zek covered one of those prestige formats. I thought this was a cool cover, so I grabbed that. One of those Tales from the Crypt reprints. Cool shark cover, eating the, uh, getting ready to eat the, uh, the lady there. Some minor first appearances in this uh, Tales of the Jedi. More early Adam Hughes stuff. Maze Agency number three. Just a Hawkeye um, from that uh, Fraction run. First uh, female Grendel. I mean, these books are definitely worth more than 50 cents a piece. Um, I always grab these Guardians of the Galaxy issues when I see them from this particular run. So we got number 10. Got a cool number nine cover of Star Lord there. Number eight. Number five. Number four. This is cool. Um, Red Sonia Vampirella. This is a, like a New York Comic Con exclusive. Um, somebody was trying to get thirty dollars for that at one point. Price on that had come way down for me. I thought this was something. It might have been back in the day. You know, you know you, you, fifty cents. You're just going to grab it and say, "Oh, I think this is something." It's not. Still a nice Billy Tucci cover. Brute Force, I see a lot of guys on YouTube picking that up. 
I got this mini series, Boulder the Brave. I got all four issues of that. I figured for two bucks for that whole mini series wasn't bad. I got this little Emperor, this Doctor Doom uh, mini series. It's nothing, but Doom is gonna, you know, gonna be all the rage as soon as he gets you know that first appearance in the MCU so I grab those Doom War number six too bad they didn't have any of the other issues well they did they had number three as well books of Doom number three so I was grabbing everything Dr. Doom Superman vs. Lobo. I like the uh, that animated stuff. Green Lantern number 186. It's some minor first appearance. One of those X-Factor keys that has something to do with Archangel. And there's another one of those. I need to stop grabbing those. Just because I see them on the cheap doesn't mean I should keep grabbing them. Um, first appearance of, uh, first cameo appearance of She-Dragon. Uh, this is a newsstand copy. Superman number one, first, uh, modern Metallo. Classic Joker Superman cover. This was cool. Um, and heartbreaking at the same time. I guess it's one of those remainded, redacted, remainded company, uh, copies where they Rip the uh, the top off so they could uh, ship it back, but I figured I'd I'd save it. Got this uh, autographed Joseph uh, Michael Linzer. Dawn had the COA as well, and then another random Dawn issue. His artwork is great. Francis McMiniman, uh, who used to do videos and used to live in New Jersey. I forgot where he's moved to now, but he was a big Linsner fan. Uh, I was happy to find this. I've been looking for this for a while. Um, I think this is one of those Madman comics, but the back cover is a Dave Stevens uh, full back cover. Um, so that was awesome to finally get across that off my Dave Stevens list. More nice Bronze Age Lois Lane. Uh, there's a bondage cover there. And then another bondage cover there. Even some Bronze Age Red Sonia. Uh, number 15, 14. I thought since number one is a, is a money book now that number two would be. It's not. But I only lost 50 cents. Coming down the home stretch, uh, another Red Sonia, number six. Stillwater, number one. This Batgirl was, was something not that long ago. Uh, it's still a $10 book. I get, found two copies of that. The rest of these, are, I think, are going to be... A lot of these are going to be Batgirl covers. Uh, and you may have an idea where I'm going now with these. Uh, I've got this Art Germ cover, number 13, found two copies of that, number 11, number 10, and number 9, these are great Art Germ covers, found two copies of that. And then I got some of the Adam Hughes uh, Batgirl issues. Uh, I put a full run together of those. I was hoping to get two of each. I got two of six. Two copies of number six. Number five. Got two copies of that. Number four, number three, number two, another Adam Hughes uh, Catwoman, number 66. I love Star Blazers as a kid. 
these were just 50 cents for the two issues combined. Uh, I didn't flip it over at the time, didn't know both issues were in there. New Avengers 4, Maria Hill, first appearance. Just a nice Lady Death issue. This was cool. This is out of print, and Predator is now a property of Marvel. This is the prestige format, uh, Batman vs. Predator, the collected editions. That was a nice find for that cost. Um, Preacher number 51, uh, preview of 100 bullets. Vigilante number one. Ball and Chain number one. Batgirl number one. The House of Mystery, uh, Halloween Annual number one, first I Zombie. Just some really cool finds, I'm telling you, for, for 50 cents. And I wasn't the only one looking through them either. Um, so guys just passed over them, including this. This was the highlight of the, uh, the three weekends of digging, uh, Batgirl 12. Um, I always wanted this cover, and I always wanted the one with Supergirl as well. The Supergirl one was not there, but thankfully this one was. A 1 in 25 variant for House of Mystery. I didn't know that this had some value to it. I just knew that it was a Bernie Wrightson cover. Um, copies of this sell uh, for as much as 30 bucks on eBay. Had no idea. Just some run fillers of Alias. A few more books, and uh, we're all done here. I don't know. I keep grabbing this because people say to grab it. Dakota North. Um, I grabbed this because of uh, the artist, um, Jay Ansatello. One of the, I think he's an Italian artist. I like his work. Um, and Dark Knight, number four. First full appearance of White Rabbit. And every time I see DVDs, um, I check them out for the Underworld movie and found another copy of that. So it's like my third or fourth copy of that. So very cool weekend, couple weekends of flea marketing. Super duper happy to find that book for 50 cents. All these books, actually. Um, you know, the quote mistakes are not horrible mistakes because of what I paid. But uh, I got to stop. I keep saying I'm going to stop digging in 50 cent bins, but it's fun. But they also take up room once you bring them home. So I need to start downsizing. So that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And um, I might have another video in a couple of weeks. Um, I have a comic show I'm going to go to this weekend. We'll see how I do. So be well, everybody, and uh, take care. Bye.